hope everybody is having a good Tuesday. So today I'm going to be working on making two different body butters, which is our new luscious blueberry um, antioxidant and anti-aging body butter. And then also our delicate oatmeal and honey body butter. Um, these are the last two that I have to make for our body care products. And then we can start working on our soaps and mass producing everything else. So I hope you guys are getting yourself prepared for the body care launch, which is October 28th. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing, or excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring out my ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna start on is our water phase. Um, I've kind of learned now how to measure out our water phase um, without uh, doing it in two separate batches when it comes onto the water phase because the water phase is exactly the same um, when it comes to either of the body butters. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and start weighing out my water, which I have all of my measurements here. Uh, let's start here, let's see. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. All right. So for my water, I'm actually going to be using some deionized water rather than using um, Distilled water, the ionized water is a little bit better um, when it comes on to benefits for the skin. So I'm gonna measure that out first. I actually have it in this huge pail, so I have to open this pail to even start out, start measuring it. So we're gonna do that now. If you've never heard of the ionized water, um, it's, there's different types of waters that you use for different products. Whereas deionized water is exactly what it is. It's exactly the way it sounds is what it is. So I have my double boilers going right now. So they're heated up. Ah. These buckets are super hard for me to open. It never fails whenever I have to open these big buckets. So yesterday we did our body scrubs, which those are now done and set. So this is the last step to products. Like you guys remember, we had to do a lot of formulating and all of these different things. So it's been a journey um, with this part of the process, but can't complain, can we pack up? Okay, so I'm gonna start pouring my water on my scale here. Hey, everybody. Oh, wait a second. Hey, ladies, change of time. We are going to do it today at one o'clock. Easter. All right, I just have to fix my time up. Let me turn on my scale here. Almost done with my water. 
Because this is a nice size pot. I'm praying that all that I'm putting in here will fit. Because this pot is like super to the brim. Okay, water is done. All right, so we got our water in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin. know what I'm gonna go ahead and put my water on my double boiler now and then I'll add my glycerin after all right so let me do my glycerin which I'll use that You smell the rain, cat? Really? All right. Glycerin is done. I know you guys are commenting, but I'm not really looking just yet. I'm working on this, making sure my measurements are right. can do what it needs to do. All right. So now we're gonna start on our oil phase, which this part is, all of the parts are very important, but I'm going to be doing two different measurements for the oil phase, because I'm doing two different body butters. Trying to keep my work area clean today because yesterday I kept it clean. Did I keep it clean yesterday? Did I keep my work area clean yesterday? Oh gosh, I just can't win. Can you do me a favor? Can you give me those two silver cans? <laughs> I can't win for nothing, you guys. Here go, cat. Semi. Semi, cow. Semi. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to measure out our first oil phase which this one is going to be for our, uh, I'll probably do the blueberry first. So we're gonna use our rose hip seed oil.
to put my measurement first to make sure I knew what I was doing. You know, this is why I don't like using this metal thing. It drives me nuts. I want to make sure that it's right. I'm waiting on it to tear. Hey, Jamaica. Alright, my last little pour, and then we're done with this oil. So we got our rosehip seed oil. Let's see. Now we need our BTMS 50, our settled alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure those out, which I think I'll do it on this one, just to be on the safe side. So I have my other little scale here. This is actually more for science, this scale that I'm using now. Um, I can't pull it over any farther. Well, yes, I can. So this scale I'm using now is very precise, but even the littlest breeze that blows can change the measurement of this scale. So that's another reason why I try not to use it, but I, I like using it, but I don't like using it, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna add some mango butter.
Like mango butter is really like, it's so soft, I can mold it with my hands. And then because it is one of those oils where it's like, it has to really like melt down, I, I'm now learning to break it down into smaller pieces rather than to put it in there in those big clumps and chunks because it breaks down a lot better when it's in smaller chunks. Okay, so that's that one. So what I'm gonna do is, because I'm already using this to do my um, mango butter, I'm gonna just move this and do my mango butter for my second batch now. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna have to put my hands back in here and I'd rather just change my glove once than twice. Here, come use this black one. So I'm almost done doing my mango butter. This one is like super messy. This and the shea butter are super messy to me. Now I'm going to use these 
little bits here because I don't need a ton. Oh, good. Alright, mango butter is done. Whew. That mango butter, no joke. It is like super soft. It just crumbles. I love I love it for products, but I don't like it on I don't like anything messy on my hands. I think that's why my son is like that. Okay, so we now have our mango butter. I'm gonna go ahead and do my shea butter at the same time. That's another messy one. Our shea butter is also very messy. So we're almost done with this measurement for the shea butter. Thank you. All right, so we got the shea butter for the first one. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the shea butter for the second one.
All right, shea butter is done. All right, so I just put some alcohol on my hands because I don't like that oily feeling especially if I'm trying to work I just don't all right so we got all of that done now it's time for our BTMS 50 and settle alcohol so I'm gonna do this one first but instead of me weighing it there I'm gonna actually weigh it in one of these little bowls here that's one of our little stainless steel bowls. Okay, so BTMS 50. fit in this do I want to use this not really hold on you guys when the breeze blows it blows my scale Okay, for this one, I did not measure out my oils yet. Which this is gonna be our blueberry oil to go into the blueberry. Let me make sure I have enough. And I have some small bottles. This blueberry oil is super expensive. Like super duper. But it's worth it.
so I'm going to pour this into here. Okay. So those two are now done. So we have all of our oils. The only thing that's left in this phase is the settle alcohol, which I'm going to do that right now. And then they will go into this bath over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put them into my water bath for double boiling so they can get started. Make sure I write what I put on one. So I'm putting the name of which one is in what container. Yesterday I messed around and had to like play by smell to figure it out. I was so aggravated. I'm gonna get some more water so that our oil has enough water for double boiling. Go down quickly. So I got my water. I'm just gonna add some more water here. So my oils can melt fast-ish. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my settled alcohol and then I'll add that last. are now done putting all of our phases together. So we'll put those there. My water phase is going, so that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my extracts. Blueberry body butter. There's no end to the God-given talents you possess. Her products are definitely high quality. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out our extracts. So the first extract is going to be the honey and oats. And then the second extract will be um, goji berry. So we have goji berry, and then we have honey and oats.
right, so I got my two beakers for So these are the two beakers that we're going to be using for our fragrance, our preservative, and also our extracts. So you want them to be nice and dry on the inside because I'm putting preservative in there and I'm also putting fragrance in there and my extracts. So I'm going to start with my oatmeal extract and my honey quad extract. So extracts are kind of like a, it's not as strong as an essential oil. So extracts are, are not as strong, but they carry a lot of great properties, just like essential oils. Some things you cannot get as an essential oil. Extracts are also water soluble, whereas essential oils, they are oils, you guys. So that's technically how it goes. So that's our oatmeal and our honey extract. I'm going to go ahead and take out my goji berry because I need both. And then my fragrance, that one I'm going to go ahead and do that now as well. So I have my extract and my fragrance done for my oats. So what I'm going to do right now is before I do anything, I'm going to take a piece of paper. We had plastic wrap. I don't know what happened to it. So what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to put the honey ones because you won't know what is what. So if you don't actually put the name, you won't have a clue what, which one is which one. So that's the honey. And then for this one, this is our goji berry and chamomile. So these are our extracts for this body butter. So I always like to use my little ones that I order when I'm doing my formulations. I will get the little ones first. Goji berry is high in antioxidants as well, you guys. And then that's our chamomile. And then this is more goji berry. It smells like berries. And that's our extracts for our blueberry body butter. So I just write blue so I know what is what. Oh, dang it. Guess what I forgot? Fragrance. Oh, cat! it says that our order is going to arrive today. 
It says that the order is going to arrive today. The labels. It just texted me and said it's coming today. Shipment out with carrier. I hope he comes before we leave. Because you know they like to do. It said between 1400 and 1600 Between two and four. All right. So this is our custom blend of blueberry fragrance. It smells like pancake. So you guys see the colors, how dark they are? I didn't see a comment. I'll go back in a second. Somebody said something. Hold on. Well, let me do what I'm doing first. Which fragrance? Okay. It literally smells like blueberry pancakes, you guys. I can't make this up. Out of all the fragrances, out of all of the recipes, out of each one, my favorite is the blueberry. Like that one is my absolute favorite. Kat, yeah. which one is your favorite out of all of them? Huh? Which one is your favorite out of all of the different um, body care? Turmeric, blueberry, or oat and honey? You like the oat and honey? I love the blueberry. The blueberry I makes me hungry. Blue, but oat and honey, the oat and honey is better? Yes. Did you use it last night? What, the, the scrubs? I used half of it, yeah. Which one did you use? I used both. I told you. You mixed them together? No, I did one leg. No, <laughs> I want y'all to see what this girl over here doing. So which one was which one was more abrasive? Like which one was more I'm sorry, exfoliating. <laughs> You still like that one better? Yeah. That's deep. I, maybe, I don't know. I was getting maybe too much blueberry. Okay. After, like, it was too, too, too much for me. Was it, like, too hard? Like, like rough? No, no, no. no or it's it just the blueberry? Yeah, the, yeah the, so the rose water, like, I don't know, it was more. It was just more fragrant, like, like more calm? Fresh, more all fresh. right, all right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I still like the blueberry. We shall, we shall see. We're going to see who's the winner. winner. Yes. Yeah. We'll see who's the winner when it's time. When everything releases, we will see who's the winner. All right, so the oils are melting nicely. Our water phase is doing its thing as well. I'm just stirring it up to make sure um, that they start to melt you know, in the right fashion. Okay, you guys, move those. We're done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and start bottling up the Yoni wash. Um, get that out of the way, which these hoppers are not working for me. These hoppers are actually not my friend at all. trying to see if this one is going to work with me or not. That's the only problem that I've been having with the hoppers is they are just not working with me. So this one is the manual hopper, the one that you guys saw me using um, yesterday. That hopper is more for like thick creams, like we use that one for that. This is still not my favorite hopper, but I'm gonna make it work. Um, 
I'm gonna let it clean itself out first. I'm gonna get some water. Clean this one out really good. Um, so we made yoni wash the other day. Uh oh, that was the next problem I had with this thing. This little thing doesn't want to stay in there. Because we use these hoppers for some oils, I'm going to pour a little bit of alcohol in the water to help it extract any oil or residual oil that's in the hopper. So I'm going to pour this in here. I'm just going to pump it out. It's not the most um, nice and sound. So you want to make sure that it's clean and that you get any excess oil from another product out of there. So that's why I put alcohol in water, which the alcohol doesn't interfere with the product because it dries that quickly. That was another problem with this one, it leaks. See how it's silly? This one is like, we definitely are gonna end up having to buy two new manual hoppers. All right, so while that's going, I'm just gonna test the pH here again from this back to make sure that it's ready. Waiting to see what the pH is. Still a little too high for my liking. So I'm gonna drop the pH some more. Just making sure that my solution is nicely mixed. All 
right, I'm gonna check the pH again. Let me rinse this off. All right, pH is good. All right, we're done. All right, you guys, hold on one second.
Hey guys, sorry I was on the phone. Hey dad. Hello, my father. Um, something I was going to do and not really sure. I'm just checking my oils again. I keep mixing them because I want these oils to like melt. Which they are melting, it just takes time. So could you guys believe that the blueberry oil mixture is melting faster than the oat and honey? Which is another reason why I wanted to ensure that I um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but whatever, okay. Anyhow, I'm thinking, done thinking, thinking, thinking. What am I going to do? Do I want to bottle this or do I want to allow it to not be so bubbly? Because I think it's too bubbly. It has too much air in it. When it has air in it like that, you need to like diminish those air bubbles. Oh, uh -oh, don't fall. Diminish those air bubbles. And a part of me says that I need to. It's either that or I make a second batch and try it out. I think I'm going to make a second batch. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me make sure that I have what I need here to make a second batch first. I don't think I have enough. No, nope, I do not. So I shall have to wait. Yeah, one of the ingredients I do not have enough. Or should I just split it in half? I wonder. I wonder. Let's see if I can split this batch in half. Yes, I can. Totally, totally awesome. So we're going to split this batch. I'm going to do another batch and split it because this one is not, it's going to take long for this one to um, remove a lot of those bubbles. So we're gonna do a second batch of yummy wash. So I need to test this theory in my head before I don't do it.
All right, so we got our water. This I don't need just yet. I'm gonna put that to the side. This I do need, so let's start with that. Yoni wash actually doesn't even take long to make. It's actually one of the faster recipes.
I'm emulsifying my water phase. So we're gonna put that inside of a pan and that is gonna go into our double boiler. Our oils are still boiling. This is the part that takes the longest with these, to so stir them. So this is going to go inside this big pan right here. is going to go into our double boiler and I'm going to I'm really kind of testing out a theory here because I just spoke to the guy who makes some or helped me to formulate basically um, and I was telling him that I feel like it has too much air bubbles in it and he's like let's try a thing so we're trying out a theory I'm just stirring up my oils again. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to remove my water phase for our body butter from the double boiler, which I have to be super careful removing it. 
So I'm gonna move, remove it now. But yeah. I'm gonna put it inside that pan there. <laughs> oh Lord. Be strategic I need to be above my pan cap Some of this water go first. I'm gonna have to replace some of this water that's missing. But we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Oh, I got it. That part is done. So I'm going to let this double boil, which is my yoni mixture. I'm only going to let it sit for a couple minutes because I'm trying to get some of the air bubbles out of it to see if this will work. And if it does work, then I'm going to double boil the other batch. Actually going to have to scoop some of that out anyway oh I'm gonna have to scoop some of that water out anyway into another container because now I have to weigh it out to make sure that I have equal parts for my oils so on either end that water has to be um, 
weighed out and then I have to determine how much water I've lost. Even with it just double boiling, I've lost water. So then I'm gonna have to go back and add more water back into the formula that I lost. So that's the next piece. So we're gonna let this one sit for a few, that yoni wash. I'm testing out the theory first. Uh, in the meantime, let me go get my two pans. Okay. So technically, if it's done right, I should be weighing out two fourteen. Two fourteen. Two fourteen. So let's see if I end up with two hundred and fourteen ounces. So I'm just gonna use a container to pull the water from one to the other. Cause that's hot water at that. Right, so I got one weighed out, which was simple. It was a little easier. I know you guys want to see. Hmm. So this is one.
We did it. We did it. So we got our water phases weighed out. And these containers are exactly the same, so. All right. So give me a, can I get a yeah? Can I get a wow? Man. guys thank you guys Let's go get something to drink and eat while my oils are double boiling. Guys, I'm going to run to the store and then I'll do a part two when it's time for us to mix because my phone is like super dead and it needs to charge and my oils are still not all melted yet. So I'm going to come back on and do a part two in a little while for us to finish this batch of body butters and then the Yoni wash with my theory testing. Um, so I'm going to run to the store, get some food. I'll be back on live, you guys. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Make sure you have on your notifications so you know that your girl is on and I'll see y'all in a few. Peace.